I had no idea that my wife, Lindsay, was a heroin addict until she overdosed when she was three months pregnant with our son. I get the whole past thing, but you can't just forget like it never happened because it did happen. I'll never, I'll never forget. And then literally 24 hours, she did it again. I was absolutely furious. We just talked about how you did it last night, and you go ahead and do it again. Lindsay then revealed to me that she has a serious drug problem. I was at a crossroads. I couldn't just leave my wife. I had to help her. I took Lindsay back and forth to all those counseling meetings and all the drug counselors. Then, my son was born addicted to heroin. This had to be rock bottom for Lindsay because how can you get any worse than this? Different. I'm here helping you. After everything that you've done right. over and over again, I'm still here. Then, one morning I woke up, my car was gone and my debit card was gone on my wallet. My wife was gone. Then I get a phone call that you don't want to get. My wife was in a three-car accident while she was high on heroin with my eight-month-old son in the backseat of the car. My family was just ripped apart at that moment. The day after the accident, I filed for order protection against her. I didn't speak to her for about four months after the arrest. Two months ago, I dropped the order of protection against my wife. She had no place to live. I wasn't gonna let the mother of my child roam the streets at all. I'm proud to say that she's exactly uh, six months clean at this time. I know she's on the path to recovery. Lindsay deserves a second chance. My family needs to have more compassion for Lindsay and they need to show her some respect. I'm a grown man and at the end of the day, this is my family. Your position is that clearly she's made some mistakes in the past, right? Devastating mistakes. And when she drove high on heroin with your child in the car, you said enough's enough, too much is too much. That was too much. I had to step in as the father right. of my child. Now you knew she had been using before that, right? Correct. You say, and this is a quote, Lindsay is not a danger to my son anymore, and you leave your son alone at night with her while you work. Correct. Okay, so you trust her that much? I do. All right, now, really? if you're wrong, the stakes could be pretty high because you've seen what happened when she drove with your son. Absolutely. Do you feel a divided loyalty here? I'm torn from every angle. I, it, I'm the husband, I am the father of my child, and she's really put everyone in the bad position, especially me. There is no divided loyalty here. Okay. You have 100% duty. 100% undivided loyalty to your child. Mm -hmm. There is no division of loyalty here. And you can say, you, you can say, well, but I'm married to her and this is my child. No, the child doesn't have a voice. The child doesn't have anyone to protect them. And it is criminal not to. So you think she's sober right now, six months sober right now? I do. You, you truly do. believe that? I do. Were you not with us at the airport? Or yesterday? Like I was scared for Caden to be with her just le running well, into you. I put together just a few clips of our working with her, that they're very brief, that I just want to share with you. Let's take a look. I am for once taking my sobriety completely serious. I have overdosed four times in the past six years. I've admitted that I have made mistakes. I would always leave rehab feeling as if nothing was accomplished. You feel safe with your son with that? I feel embarrassed. There you go.